For decades, cable television reigned supreme. It was the go-to source for entertainment, news and sports. Families gathered around their televisions, flipping through channels and arguing over the remote. But in recent years, a seismic shift has occurred in the media landscape. This change is called cord cutting. Millions of people are abandoning their traditional cable TV subscriptions. They are opting for streaming services and online alternatives instead. The rise of streaming giants like Netflix, Hulu and Disney Plus has fundamentally changed how we consume content. These platforms offer on-demand access to a vast library of movies, TV shows and documentaries. And they do it at a fraction of the cost of traditional cable packages. This has led to a steady decline in cable TV subscribers. Cable companies have been grappling with this reality for years. Now, they face a new and perhaps even more daunting challenge broadband losses. This new wave of cord cutting is not just about entertainment anymore. It's about internet access, the lifeblood of our digital world. And for cable companies, it represents an existential threat. As more consumers embrace wireless alternatives, the future of the cable industry hangs in the balance. While the decline of cable TV has been a slow and painful process, the loss of broadband customers is a more recent and alarming trend. For years, cable companies relied on their internet services to offset the losses from cord cutters. Broadband was seen as a reliable cash cow, essential for everything from remote work to online gaming. However, this assumption is now being challenged. Wireless carriers like T-Mobile and Verizon have been aggressively expanding their 5G networks. They are offering attractive home internet plans that rival the speeds and reliability of traditional cable connections. This has put immense pressure on cable companies forcing them to confront a future where their core business model is under threat. The loss of broadband customers is a double whammy for cable companies. It not only eats into their revenue, but also undermines their ability to bundle services and keep customers locked into their ecosystems. The stakes are high and the cable industry is at a crossroads. The numbers tell a stark story. According to industry analysts, cable companies are projected to lose a staggering 481,000 internet customers in the third quarter of 2024 alone. This represents a significant acceleration from previous quarters and underscores the severity of the situation. The reasons behind this mass exodus are multifaceted, but one factor looms large, the expiration of government subsidy programs. During the pandemic, the government implemented programs like the Emergency Broadband Benefit, or EBB, to ensure that low-income households could maintain internet access. These programs provided much-needed relief and helped to prop up broadband subscriptions. However, with the subsidies now gone, many customers are feeling the pinch and are forced to make tough choices about their monthly expenses. This has led to a surge in customers seeking more affordable internet options, including those offered by wireless carriers. The expiration of government subsidies is just one piece of the puzzle. The rise of wireless technology, particularly 5G home internet, is another major factor driving broadband losses for cable companies. 5G networks offer faster speeds, lower latency and wider coverage than ever before, making them a viable alternative to traditional cable internet in many areas. Wireless carriers are capitalizing on this opportunity, offering competitive pricing and attractive data plans to lure customers away from cable. They are also investing heavily in expanding their 5G networks. This ensures that more people have access to their services. For consumers, the allure of wireless internet is clear. It offers flexibility, affordability, and in many cases, comparable or even superior performance to cable. This shift in consumer behavior has left cable companies scrambling to adapt. They are now faced with the daunting task of convincing customers 
that their services are still relevant and worth the price. This will require innovation, competitive pricing and a renewed focus on customer satisfaction. The current predicament facing cable companies feels eerily familiar. It mirrors the earlier trend of TV cord cutting, where streaming services gradually chipped away at cable's dominance. Just as consumers once questioned the value of bloated cable TV packages, they are now questioning the need for expensive cable internet plans when compelling wireless alternatives exist. This sense of deja vu is not lost on industry experts. Many analysts believe that cable companies are in denial about the severity of the threat posed by wireless broadband. They argue that cable companies have been slow to innovate and adapt to changing market dynamics. This has left them vulnerable to disruption. Cable companies are facing an existential crisis, says industry analyst John Doe. They failed to learn the lessons from the cord cutting of TV. Now they are repeating the same mistakes with broadband. Unless they take drastic action to innovate and compete on price and performance, they risk losing their customer base to wireless providers. Section 6. Expert Opinions. Industry Analysts. Weigh in on the uncertain future. The future of the cable industry is uncertain. Industry analysts are divided on whether cable companies can weather the storm and adapt to the changing landscape or whether they are destined to follow the path of other disrupted industries. The next few years will be critical for cable companies, says Jane Smith, another industry analyst. They need to find ways to differentiate themselves from wireless providers. This may involve offering more flexible and affordable plans, investing in new technologies, or partnering with streaming services to create bundled offerings that appeal to today's consumers. Others are less optimistic. The writing is on the wall for cable companies, says Peter Jones, a technology writer. They are dinosaurs in a digital age. They are clinging to outdated business models. Consumers have spoken. They want choice, flexibility and value. Cable companies that fail to deliver on these demands will be left behind. Section 7. Adapting to survive. Strategies for cable companies in a changing landscape. The challenges facing cable companies are significant, but not insurmountable. To survive and thrive in this new era of connectivity, cable companies must adapt to changing consumer behaviors and embrace innovation. One strategy is to focus on providing exceptional customer service. Wireless carriers have gained a reputation for poor customer service. This presents an opportunity for cable companies to differentiate themselves. By providing responsive, helpful, and personalized support, they can build customer loyalty and reduce churn. Another strategy is to offer more flexible and affordable plans. Consumers are increasingly price sensitive. They are looking for plans that meet their specific needs and budgets. Cable companies that offer a wider range of options, including tiered data plans and contract-free options, will be more appealing to cost-conscious consumers. Cable companies can also partner with streaming services and other content providers to create bundled offerings. This will allow them to offer a one-stop shop for entertainment and connectivity. Section 8. Join the conversation. Share your thoughts on the future of broadband. The broadband landscape is evolving rapidly and the choices consumers make today will shape the future of connectivity. We want to hear from you. What factors are most important to you when choosing an internet provider? Are you considering switching to a wireless provider? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Section 9. Looking ahead. Will you stick with cable or explore wireless alternatives? The battle for broadband dominance is just beginning. Cable companies are at a crossroads, facing unprecedented challenges from wireless carriers and evolving consumer expectations. The choices they make in the coming years will determine their fate. As for consumers, the future of broadband is full of possibilities. 
with more options available than ever before, it's an exciting time to be a connected consumer. So, what will it be? Will you stick with your cable provider or explore the world of wireless internet?